on the cusp in the truck that's where i'm at today i'm driving the camper up here to get some work done and um, we're getting ready to leave for florida today is october 10th tomorrow the 11th we head down south where we've got let's see one two three four performances three shows and one worship leading experience at day spring community church in apopka florida sunday morning but we've got a friday and saturday uh two shows over around new smyrna beach and then we have a show at that church that we're leading worship at it's the church i used to attend in florida when i lived down there back around 04 and 05 so coming up on 20 years i can't believe it since i used to go to that church and they still have us back annually to lead worship and do a concert there and i usually joke with them and say are y'all not sick and tired of me coming home and or coming back i, I almost, look i just called it home um i say are y'all not sick and tired of me coming back here and playing the same shows and you know that they they say they're not tired of it so they keep showing up i mean they they're free they're americans they can do whatever they want they don't have to come but they keep coming so i'm surprised but we're excited to be down there and then we go the next weekend down to arcadia florida where we're going to be playing the 21st and 22nd at the arcadia rodeo down there so i'm excited about that so the reason i'm getting on here today is to commemorate allen's dairy treats in winston-salem north carolina I want to reflect audibly on here because this is uh, the personal journals podcast. I think that's the category this is in, personal journals. Um, it is on the cusp, but today we're going to look back. And well, we've done a lot of that on this podcast. I say we, I guess I've got a mouse in my pocket. It's just me here running this thing as I drive around. Um, Allen's Dairy Treats opened 25 years ago in winston-salem north carolina now that's where i was born back in the 1980s on my mama's smoke break down there at the cigarette factory no <laughs> i'm just kidding all right don't believe me um i just like to say that i learned to say that on the on the golf cart as a tour guide when people asked me where i was from but uh, my mama has never smoked and she never worked at the cigarette factory. Although I am the first generation Pope, as, as far as we know out of all of them, since they got off the boat in the 1700s, I'm the first generation Pope to not have to work in tobacco fields my entire childhood and most of my life. Um, I come from sharecropping people. So to not have been born in a tobacco field or down at the factory is probably makes me it makes me a unique pope when you consider all the generations so there in winston-salem my dad uh, well actually right outside of winston in kernersville north carolina back in 1994 um, my daddy married ruby pope maybe a bit maybe it was 95 94 95 he married uh, actually her name was ruby bowman at the time and uh, she became my stepmom so we're looking at almost 30 years ago i gained a stepmom and what a wonderful one she has been to me and my sister at the time i was 10 years old and um they got married and she was a blast she was always a lot of fun she uh she used to watch archie bunker with us when we'd go over there on the weekends with my daddy every other weekend and um every other weekend my dad would take my sister to uh the to the flea market and he would take me hunting or we would do something together so we would we would take turns every every time we went over there on saturday morning it was either my turn with daddy or ashley's turn with daddy now the the person who wasn't with daddy was with ruby and that was a lot of fun too i mean ruby was always hilarious and she'd take us all over town and take us down to get cheeseburgers and dr pepper and ice cream and milkshakes down at allen's dairy treats and her connection with mr Hal allen who owned that place was that she had worked 
at Dairy Queen in Kernersville years before when he owned that. So in 1969, my understanding is how Allen opened a Dairy Queen in Kernersville, North Carolina. And he ran that Dairy Queen all the way up until the 80s or 90s. And then he swapped over to Allen's Dairy Treats in Winston. So I never knew him back when he ran the Dairy Queen, but Ruby did. Ruby worked there. And then I used to go down to Howland, or Hal Allen's Dairy Treats, and that's where we would eat and hang out and get ice cream and carry on. And as a matter of fact, when I turned 16, my dad and stepmom wanted, they, they wanted to have a get-together for my birthday, and they asked me where I wanted to do it, and I said, I want to do it at Hal's. We used to call it, let's go to Hal's. That's what we'd say. So we'd go down there, and it was always such an amazing experience ordering from Hal. Hal was the guy at the register most of the time. And, you know, there were other people that worked the register, but oftentimes when he saw us, he would run them off, and he would get on the register. And he would always have a joke. And he was hilarious. He'd tell these jokes, and he would stomp and laugh at his own jokes. And we couldn't help but laugh because they were really funny. And then I'd have to come up with one. And then we'd sit there and just keep trying to one-up each other. And then he would make fun of this and that, and, and he would laugh at my dad. And he'd laugh at Ruby, and Ruby would laugh with him. And, man, it was just the biggest bunch of laughing that I could experience. And it was right there trying to order from how and eventually we'd get around to getting the order in and people would be behind us too i mean it was he was great with his customers and it seemed like nobody ever got mad there if if maybe people were behind us and we were carrying on it seems like i remember he would he would kind of straighten up real quick and he'd take their order and we'd kind of get out of the way and then we'd go back to carrying on with him how was a trip he still is. He's 90 years old. But over this past weekend, Allen's Dairy Treats closed. And it closed at the age... This man was working there at 90. His legs got so bad, he just couldn't keep it up. And if he wasn't going to do it, nobody else was interested in keeping it going, apparently. And so they finally closed. But how kept the business going to the age of 90 and I thought that deserved its own episode because folks I don't know if you're looking around the world you go in restaurants you see who you're dealing with you know I don't want to disparage the whole service industry because I'm part of the service industry as a tour guide and I've I've been a server um but it was a short amount of time I was a cracker barrel server but I know very skilled great bartenders and servers but what i'm telling you is out there for the most part y'all know it to be true there's not a lot of hope for america in the employment of fast food places and it's it's rough but if you went to allen's dairy treats it was like an old school fast fast food place where you'd go in there and you'd order and the burgers were great they were consistently awesome always good the ice cream was good the milkshakes were good and and they had the atmosphere that you cannot find in you know i I live around portland tennessee and i go up there to the hardy's and the mcdonald's and and sonic every now and then you know and i've gone to all these places around here look i can't wait to get out of them i mean i don't want to crap on my hometown but i'm just saying where we live in portland you know there's some restaurants that have great people working in them and i'm sure the fast food places have good people but there's just nothing like that experience when i used to go to allen's dairy treats there in winston-salem and i will never forget those times and even after i moved to nashville there were chances and opportunities i had to go over there and i took every single chance that came up now i didn't have a whole lot of them But when I did have the chance and the opportunity to go over there and visit with Hal and eat, I was always amazed that even up into his 80s, he was the same Hal. He had the same hustle. He was there before everyone else. He was there later than anyone else. He was working just as hard, if not harder, than the rest of the staff. Hal led by example at his place of business 
at the business that he ran and he did it until the age of 90 and everybody that ever went there and ate remembers how at least the ones well i say everybody i don't i can't speak for everybody i can just say that the newspaper in winston-salem just did a big article on it closing and the impact that he's had on the community with his restaurant and i'm just gonna say there ain't there ain't many people like that 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 live their life with that kind of dedication to good service and just just making people smile and laugh you know there is a lot of heavy things going on in the world but i i take lessons from how that as an entertainer if i can leave any kind of impact as a musician entertainer and a follower of christ more importantly it's that it's that dedication of being the best that i can be and treating people well as good as they can be treated and just loving people where they're at because i think that's what Hal was great at he loved people when they walked in the door he treated them well and treated them fair and i'll tell you what if they went in there and they were lazy and they didn't do the job they didn't last very long because Hal wasn't going to tolerate that neither and that's also love and that's missing that's the love that's missing in today's society so i just want to celebrate Hal allen today and say thank you Hal. if you ever get to hear this if anyone shows it to you um thank you for the memories i had my birthday there my 16th birthday man you only get one in your life i chose your place when i came back in town and we had the chance to pick somewhere to make a drive to go eat we picked Hal's. we love it we love you we're gonna miss allen's dairy treats winston-salem north carolina we love you buddy